Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 248. This is Ajay and uh, I'm going to actually teach you today that how to create the VBA functions and it is going to be uh, the video on the very basic level, right? So we are not going to really uh, go on the extreme side of the VBA. Uh, when it comes to the function, I'm going to discuss about the basics of the functions like, you know, how to start with the functions from the very scratch. Okay. For those who are learning the VBA and who uh, who wants to learn VBA or maybe who, uh, who have learned the VBA but they don't have really so much of you know the good in-depth knowledge about the functions they can stick to this video right and uh, if you're watching the channel for the first time then i i want to tell you that we have created 41 playlists right as you can see here and every playlist is unique in uh, you know uh, in in one way or the other because we have a combination of uh, basic intermediate and the advanced level of videos just to you know give you a good understanding on the excel excel vba ms access and ms access vba right this channel is dedicated to those who wants to really excel in you know all these different different department right so you can see here just click on the playlist and you would when you would scroll this you would have a lot of lot of playlist you know created here and you can go ahead and watch all these as per your requirement right so we are in this video going to talk about the how to create the vba function right so in that case how you actually going to create the vba function this is you can see exo vba function i have i have already uploaded 11 amazing videos on that right but they are not actually the basic videos they are the videos for those who actually know vba very well so i have re received couple of questions emails actually feedback from from you know uh, all of you that uh, you would like to see some basic videos on excel uh, vba functions as well okay i should actually say that vba functions and uh, just to uh, don't to uh, you know no, don't want to actually confuse you because we are not going to discuss the excel functions here okay so guys welcome to this video number 245 and i'm going to start here so we're going to learn the vba functions now first thing which you need to understand when you write the function in the vba you know that we go always in the developer tab and uh, we hit, hit on this visual basic and then we you know insert the module and here we exactly write the vba functions whatever i mean you want to write here right now uh, suppose i want to create a function uh, let's say uh, a function uh, any function I, I can name it let's say i want to create a function by my name ajay okay now in vba how actually you're going to do that now you know that this is called the excel function i'm using by the way uh, excel 2016 so this option remains everywhere same whatever the version you are using 2007 2010 or 2013 so you know that here you see all the functions right which are the by default excel functions and some of these functions are also used in the vba right i have started a series on the vba functions so you must be knowing that there are a couple of functions like you know uh, these match these vlookup functions uh, if i just press vlookup yeah this is the VLOOKUP. So there are a lot of functions which you can write in the VBA also. But we are not actually going to work on those functions which are inbuilt Excel functions, right? We are going to create our own function. So now what happens uh, when you when you write any formula, guys? When you write any any function, for example, I just write the VLOOKUP. I take up this VLOOKUP because this is a very uh, commonly you know used formula. Everybody uh, knows you know how to use this formula okay so now in this formula if you have a look when you start the function uh, you get to see a lot of parameters right and these parameters you are supposed to provide or maybe i can i can pick up the simple example let's say i want to sum this five and six so you can use the sum function what is the idea the idea is when you write function you will have to provide these parameters okay for example i want to sum this and then comma and then i select this okay the moment i press enter automatically some function is going to add five and six nowhere you have written plus sign right you have simply used some and then you're starting the bracket so have you ever thought that when you press enter what you know what is that thing which is working in you know behind the curtains and you know actually adding up these things because nowhere you have said l3 plus l4 you're just writing the sum function basically these functions are actually programmed right these functions are already inbuilt functions you you really can't go in the background and you can see that what is happening right but when you create on your own vba functions the same concept goes so if you look at this formula sum l3 and l4 what is the two things which you you know would like to uh, observe here the very important two things the first is the name 
and the second is parameters right after within the open bracket and closed bracket so you need to now we we will write here two point for uh, what is the name of the function what is the name of the function we want to create i would like to start it from the very scratch right so that's why i'm telling you all these things what is the name of a function you want to create okay in vba and the second thing is that how many parameters basically you would like to give how many parameters you would like to give now that's all up to you right that's your choice that that in fact is not uh, i would say really a ch your choice but that depends upon the scenario right so what is the name of the function i want to give a function name called ajay now how are you going to define it in the vba so just click here and you will write the function word that's that's mandatory for you okay and then you write your own name so i want to create a function called ajay open bracket close bracket press enter the first part is done that you have created a function called ajay right if you write here come here equals to start typing in your name <laughs> you would see your name isn't it amazing right you know that this is not a function but it clearly says that in the fx you have this function called ajay right if i click here and if i click here all it is already all and if i press a you see that it's coming guys it's amazing right so that's why uh, that is why when you create any function the vba it automatically starts coming here right of course there is no help available because you haven't given any help well that's a different thing that's really not so important uh, but what important is that how to actually write the function now the second thing which is left is that you haven't given the parameters that is again important because if you write a j what is the use of it obviously you would like to work on it you would like to get some inputs and then from those inputs you would like to you know create some output that is that is why we use the functions right so let's say i give you the very uh, simple example let's not uh, you know make it complicated let's say i want to um, multiply two numbers and then i want to add 10 to it right any two numbers let's say the numbers any two numbers which user will write here let's say so i want to create this as a function that the way it works it should add them it should add them or maybe let's say it, it should multiply them and after multiplication it should actually uh, maybe uh, add you know 10 to it so basically the answer should be 10 into 2 10 into 20 which is this and then adding 10 to it just to explain you you know so this is what exactly we want to do now how are you going to link up these two cells in the function that is the important thing so we will have to create two parameters because we want to add two numbers right so in that way as i you know showed you here you have these all the parameters created where you actually go ahead and select the cells so how you going to communicate how you are going to set up this thing in the vba this is how you're going to do it you will have to define here the parameters parameters are nothing but they are actually called the inputs you know or you in in, in a very layman um, uh, term i can say that the cells basically what what you are actually going to select so i'm going to name it as a as what is the data type because they are going to be the number i'm going to keep them long and then there is another which is b and i'm going to keep this as long and what will be the output of your function obviously it is going to be a number so i'm going to choose this long because long can hold a huge huge number now this is how your function looks like now now you see where you're going to use this a and b let me put the break code here now understand this you write the function you know that it can it it can have the two inputs right so i select the one input and then the comma and the next input okay and i close the bracket and i press enter the moment i press enter automatically in the background this function is going to be activated because i have put the break code so that's why you know the function stops otherwise if you remove the break code from here this black dot you know then so the function will run really very fast and user will not be able to see that what is happening in the background but the idea is now look at have a look here if i hover my mouse here on this a uh, let me just run this uh, look at this a equals to 10 it says a equals to 10 this is what exactly you have selected in the b5 so automatically b5 value is going to be passed 
onto this A. And similarly, if you hover your mouse on the B, then you would see here 20, right? So this is the way the function actually works. But this is not the only the thing which you need to, you know, uh, uh, which you which you think that that's enough because if if you press F8 again, if you just you know simply run this through, you see that it's giving you the zero value. Why? Because if there is a rule in the function, you must write function name before answer okay asking for the value which function must return to you what does that mean that simply means that guys uh, you you have to actually uh, write the function name stating that the function is going to be equals to you know this value for example let me just uh, let me just maximize it you can see it and I'm going to because you know reading is going to help you a lot so you can read them here okay so here I'm going to write before enter Ajay because that is my function name equals to now equals to what exactly you want to do now I simply want to do one thing I want to just add them a plus b or oh, sorry it was actually multiplication a into b and then plus it with the 10 this is this is what we wanted to do guys right right so if, if you run this now see what will happen I'm again going to select this cell and I'm going to press enter there we go now you can see that what will be the value in the you know Ajay is 210 20 into 10 plus 10 which is correct right so the moment I execute you see that nowhere you see now zero right so if I remove the break code from here then the function is really really going to run very fast have a look this have a look on this now I press enter and there we go now there's no you know it's not going to take you on the VBA so not only this you can choose any cells and it, it is going to work on any of the sheet because this is a function which is created in the VBA for example I write here 1 and uh, I write here 2 so uh, if you write Ajay then the function and you select these two items what will be the answer the answer should be uh, 12 I believe that's what exactly it is showing right so not only this uh, my my objective is to give the two parameters so I can give the parameters like this as well what if I don't want to select the cells so I can simply write here 2 comma 2 as well right so the moment you press enter you see that 2 into 2 4 4 plus 10 is what exactly you're going to see so this is how you write the your own functions right that's very simple right and uh, this is going to be applicable in this entire workbook you create any new sheet it will be applicable if I insert any new sheet and I just go ahead and write it again you know and uh, I select let's say 3 3 3 comma 3 I will get the answer one thing which you must understand how your user is going to uh, you know know about this function that it is uh, requiring the two parameters you will have to tell your user about this right that it uses the two parameters because for example uh, let me come back to my this sheet now for example I select only one day one number let's say I selected this only if I press enter obviously you will get the error because this function is not designed for one parameter it has two parameters a and b so you will have to tell your user okay and you can also write in the comments here put the positive and write it single quote you know that this function needs two parameters you know and then you can also define that uh, what exactly it is going to do it is going to add the numbers multiplication and then you know doing some addition whatever I mean that's all up to you and similarly you can't define more than two parameters let's say if you select this if comma and this and then comma this okay and you press enter you will get the error so you have to have the two parameters actually only the two parameters there is no place for the third parameter if you want the third parameter then guys you just need to go here and you know use the comma and say that let's say c as long or i as long or j as long that's it right so these are the things you need to take care of while writing the function right remember these three basic points and uh, then you can create the function i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys please subscribe and watch all those amazing videos thank you so much i will be back very soon with some more exciting stuff thank you so much bye bye